Hmm. Red wine or white wine? Is red wine better or is white wine better? Kind of depending on who you talk to, they could probably make a pretty passionate argument about either one. And I don't know that there really is a right, right answer to that. So what does alcohol have to do with lending? Well, a lot of that's the same about what type of a loan you pick. So let's say maybe a 30-year fixed or a 15-year fixed. What is the better option out there for you? The reality is there really is no better option. Just like when you talk about which wine do you like better, it's all about personal preference. So what I've been telling everybody for years is the right loan for you is the one that you sleep best at night with. So what we want to do is understand your investment strategy. How long are you looking to hold on to the loan? How long are you looking to live in the home? What is your payoff strategy with that loan? And that might be able to drive what is the better option and what you're going to be looking over into. But the reality is there really are no wrong options. There really are just personal preferences. Because even if you look at a 30-year fixed or a 15-year fixed, some people are going to come in and say, what about an ARM program? ARM programs, even though a lot of people don't care for it as much as maybe your 30-year fixed or your 15-year fixed, are also great options depending on who you are. So just know that whether you pick a 30-year fixed, a 15-year fixed, or an ARM program, as long as you talk to a qualified mortgage consultant who really operates as a trusted advisor for you, you're not making a wrong decision as long as you make the one that is the best for you personally. So I'm going to go find myself a glass and see if I can figure out the right decision. Hope everybody has a great day.